hello 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 welcome back to my channel it is me it is i it is she it is the it is who it is rosie rosette rosie rosette who rosie rosette 2020 pow how are you guys doing today okay so this is i'm not gonna make this a long video i'm not gonna make this a long video it's just gonna be two or three minutes but remember i was making that video about alpo and wayne or whatever and i was like oh i was looking through and i realized that chrissy lampkin the one that's on Jim Jones is, um, or Mike Jones. Is it Mike Jones or Jim Jones? I think it's Jim Jones. Oh, Lord, is it Jim Jones or Mike Jones? Mike Jones? No, it's Jim Jones. Let me see. Yeah, okay, Jim Jones. Anyway. See, now there's Jim Jones of Guyana and that's Jim Jones when they say drink the Kool-Aid they're talking about him okay they're talking about him Jim Jones and I know this video is not about that but Jim Jones was a cult leader and his temple or his congregation met at the hospital on Gary Street right next to the Fillmore on Gary and Fillmore okay there's the Fillmore where they have the concerts and then right next door is the post office where that post office is, is where Jim Jones had his church. Okay. Back in the day, it was Jim Jones's church. And then right next door is the nation of Islam. Yes. They owned that whole building or they rented it. Either they owned it, whatever. I remember as a little girl dressing up with, you know, my head or whatever and going there, all of my aunts and uncles and my father, they were of the nation of Islam. Okay. So that's the history. So the reason why, you know, I was like, well, wait a minute. Is it Mike Jones or Jim Jones? So Jim Jones in, from Guyana, the one. So when people say, oh, you drank the Kool-Aid, that's what it's referring to. Okay. Okay. Now that's a little history from San Francisco. Now, Jim Jones from New York, that's the guy who used to date Chrissy. I don't know if they're still whatever dating, but before Jim Jones. I was talking about how Chrissy had, I think he took some, she took some money or something. And she went down to Miami. Dude came after her and I think beat her up and busted all her teeth out or broke all her teeth or whatever. And then she said, and I couldn't remember the term, but what the term I was thinking about was, is that she said that she, you know, I guess dude beat her up and left. And then she told you know, I guess she got the word out or whatever that, you know, if you don't give me some money or whatever, you know, to get my teeth fixed or whatever, that I am going to call the attorney or whatever and get the RICO Act. That's the term I was looking for, the RICO Act. I don't know what the RICO Act means. I guess it has something to do with drugs or bringing drugs over cross county lines or whatever. I don't know. But that's what I was thinking of. The racketeering influenced, influenced and corrupt organizations RICO Act is a United States federal law that provides for extended criminal penalties in a civil cause of action for acts performed as part of an ongoing criminal organization. Racketeering Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act. I don't know what that means. Okay, well, anyway, so that's what she was going to throw at him. I still don't know if that was Alpo, who she was talking about. I haven't seen a video. I haven't read anything. I do remember, though, that, you know, when Chrissy said this, I don't even know. I don't know if she said it on the show or if she said it, you know, on an interview or something. But, but I do remember her saying that. And, you know, I was just like, my God, this woman is very intelligent. Chrissy's highly intelligent. So maybe why, you know, these type of men like to be around her, whatever, because she knows the law. She knows what's going on. I think, I don't want to put this on it, but I think she had a rough growing up. I don't know. Chrissy, to me, is one of the most beautiful black women on earth. I just, her sense of style, you know, her hair, even though she's gained weight. Um, <clears throat> personality she's you know she's she's a little harsh but i think 
that she has a really good heart. But she demands loyalty. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with, you know, you do so much for someone and you just require loyalty in return. That's not much. That's not much. Chrissy's just very phenomenal. I, I don't know if I can see her and Alpo together. I don't know. I, 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 I can't see that one. I definitely can't see that one because I can't see. Hmm. So if Chrissy was running with Alpo back in the day, she must know a lot of stuff. She must know a lot of stuff. And Jim Jones is the one that rescued her or, you know, put her under his wing. So that means Jim Jones, who is... Jim Jones is our age too, yeah. No, Chrissy is older than Jim Jones. Chrissy is older than Jim Jones. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Jim Jones is 44. Chrissy, Chrissy's, I think Chrissy is my age. Did they mean that put her? Yeah, she's 49. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that makes sense. Alpa was older than her, but she was older than Jim. So she's five years older than Jim. She's three years younger than me. Oh, no. She'll be 50 this year. Her birthday is April 27th. So she'll, it's okay. So she's, a, she's two years younger than me. She's two years younger than me. Okay, so she's two years younger than me, five or six years. I, I still don't know how old Alpo is. I don't know if it's 54, 52, 53, 55. I don't know. I'm going to say he's between 53 and 55. Yeah. And he's older than me, only by a couple of years, five years older than him. About 10 years older than Jim Jones. So. I don't know what Jim was into that he could protect Chrissy, but we don't know if Alpo was the one that Chrissy left. Is Chrissy Hispanic? I don't know. Let's see. When was she? I love me some Google. When was she with Alpo? Okay, so she was arrested in 1992, 1992, in part in an interstate drug trafficking ring, and during the time allegedly had sexual tryst with the Kingpin Alpo. Okay, so they were together in 1992. So 1992... I was 23, so she was 20, Alpo was 25. Um. Huh. So, wait, Chrissy used to be with Jay-Z? What the? Really cool. mm, Chrissy has dated dope boys like the infamous Kingpin Alpo Martin. So wait, she dated Alpo and Richard? Plus three New York Knick players. She even slept with Jay-Z when he was 23 years old. Wow. What is what 
is really going on. So, well, who is it that, was it Rich or Alpo that knocked out her teeth? Or who was it? Who were the guys who went down to Miami? Because mind you, when Love and Hip Hop first came out, um, Alpo was in jail doing time. I don't think that she thought that he would be able to get a hmm. So is this why Chrissy is in Miami now? Because she doesn't want to be in New York, but Alpo just got out. She's been in Miami for what? The past five, six years. But I don't think, you know, that's water under the bridge. I mean, stuff like that happened 30 years ago. I don't think that she you know, that Alpo was tripping off of Chrissy. You know what I'm saying? No, she's too. You know, we're old now. That's, you know, stuff that happened 30 years ago. I mean, although I don't talk to a lot of heifers that did me wrong back then, I'm not really holding that much of a grudge. You see what I'm saying? Not that much. All right, let me go. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.